What's up everybody? Uh, welcome to today's stream where we are going into the ever fascinating subject of um, bibliographies, right? So bibliographies, those citations that you put in the paper and that you put at the end of the paper. Now, uh, a lot of citation uh, managers such as Zotero and Mendeley uh, they work with plugins and that's how they expect um, you to write. They expect you to write in Word and they, or LibreOffice and they create a plugin for Word or LibreOffice. Okay? Now, as you all know, I hate writing with Word or LibreOffice or anything similar because those are very nice when you're writing a letter but not very nice where when you're managing a complex multi-year uh, writing project such as a research paper and for that I and use a Scrivener and uh, you should do there are plenty of videos on the channel explaining why okay um, but nevertheless, you know, when you're using Scrivener, you still have to um, uh, work uh, with uh, citations, okay? So, uh, there are basically um, two uh, uh, workarounds uh, for this. And they have to be workarounds, but I think they're, they're pretty easy to um, include uh, in, uh, in your workflow. I mean, it's, you're not doing anything crazy, okay? Uh, so uh, I'm going to start with uh, the software that I use, which is Bookends, a software that exists for the Mac. And then I'm going to go to, um, uh, to Zotero, okay? Um, so Bookends, how does it work? Well, basically here's Bookends. So I have uh, a bunch of papers, right? Here they are, the organizing lists and uh, Basically, the way you include uh, references, you go, you click the reference, you go to Scrivener, and you, or, sorry, I'll take that back. That's, uh, there's an easy way. So, you're writing Scrivener, you put the cursor where you want your um, citation to go, you go to Bookends, and right click and you put uh, copy citation copy citation okay so that's what i do and it gets back it gets back to scriver and you see the citation is here now for bookends what it does is it leaves this uh, the citation in this in this uh, format so you see it's the name of, of the first author comma, year, comma, and a reference number, okay? And then, once you finish writing your paper, you uh, create a Word document with your paper, or a text document with your paper, I do a text document, and then you just go to Bookends, and you create a, a, a bibliography. So you, you do scan document, it will scan for all of the citations and it will create a bibliography and also format the citations in your document according to um, whatever style uh, that you have, okay? So let's do that just to see how it's done. There we go. So just for the sake of uh, brevity, I will just uh, take this out and put it on a text document. There we go. Oh, okay. And I'll save it as unformatted text. Save. And then close it. Go to bookends. Bibliography, scan document, blah, blah, blah. Unformatted text, open. I will show you this, generate a bibliography after scan using whatever uh, rules you uh, you want. So I'm using APA 6 edition. Buff. And then, you know, if there are some uh, citations that 
they don't really know where it is. You know, this sometimes happens like when you add text uh, or you do find and replace, things will um, uh, will get messy. So it will just go through the two or three citations that uh, that they miss, and you'll get your same file name but with the appendix formatted. And you can see that here you have I'll zoom, on, zoom in. You have the citations; they're all formatted according to AP6, and then here you'll have the the the, the reference the, the the reference list. Okay, so Bookends does this automatically. So just to recap, you go to Scrivener as you write. You search for the citation on Bookends. So let's say it's this. And I copy citation and it will put it right there. Okay. Then you export this into a text document or into a Word file and you scan it using, uh, using um, bookends. Okay. Now, uh, I normally just like copy paste my entire draft into a text file. But uh, just to remind you, Scriver does have a compile function that does this automatically without having to copy paste. Okay, I, I just don't use it because you know it's just easier to if you're just like me and you your draft is basically your paper sections in, in order, there's no point in doing anything else and just uh, selecting the, the whole text, control all, control copy, and then paste it in, into a document, okay? And, and here, and here you'll have everything, okay? Uh, so that's with bookends. Now, with Zotero, you're basically following the same system, but it is less integrated into Scrivener, okay? It is less integrated into Scrivener. So if you look at, um, uh, at uh, Zotero's menu, Okay, where is it? Okay, so if you look at Zotero's menu, it has uh, a, a bit about creating bibliographies, okay? And basically, you're still doing the two steps. So you're still inserting the citation in the text and you're still creating the bibliography. You're just not creating the bibliography automatically, okay? So step by step. First, how do you insert the citation in the text. It's very easy. You select citation, just like you do in, in, in bookends, okay? And instead of choosing copy citation from a menu, you just use a keyboard shortcut, okay? So that's control command shift A. Control command shift A will copy the citation okay so the difference is that from bookends to scrivener because it's integrated the citation is copied and formatted so you need to format it later uh, the benefit of that is that you can change citation format in uh auto, in, if in scrivener just when you do the like bibliography you just select a different format and it will be done here you're copying it formatted. So if you need to change the format, you'll have uh, to, to do this again. Is this ideal? No. Why does this happen? Again, because Zotero and Mendeley have this um, integration into Word that installs a plugin and Scrivener just doesn't work with plugins like that. So there's you can do it, okay? Now, is this a massive issue? I would say like probably not because I mean if you're submitting your paper to a conference um, normally they don't care I mean they won't reject it because you're not following their citation format and then you know when you're submitting a paper you know to a journal it'll be on the pipeline uh, obviously it can be just rejected and that sucks but other than that it'll be on the pipeline for a while so even if you have to submit it somewhere else, you know, it's not dramatic. Also, the, the variations in, in text citations are, are relatively low. It's like, you know, do you use a comma or not? And you can do a find and replace 
um, uh, for that. So, I mean, it's doable. Uh, I, I personally don't have to deal with it because I, I use Brucans, but it is, it is doable uh, for sure. Okay. Now, this only creates the in-text citations, right? So an in-text citation, again, is something like this, right? So uh, let me blow this up. So it's something like this, right? The, the citation that then allows you to find the full reference in the reference list. So you still need to build the reference list and uh, Zotero does not allow you to do this automatically in Scrivener. It does so in Word, but not in Scrivener, okay? So the way you do this, again, we go back to the Zotero manual, is that you can create a bibliography automatically. Mm -hmm. You can create a bibliography automatically. So the way you do this is you keep your uh, bibliography, all of the papers that you are citing, not all of the papers that you are reading, all of the papers that you are citing in a folder in Zotero, and then you just click all, right click, and then you can, there will be an option in Zotero to create a bibliography, and you just paste that at the end of your paper. Now, there is one thing that you can do, which is an extra step, but that um, does this automatically, with, which is this thing called RTF scan in Zotero, okay? So RTF scan is basically a workaround to the uh, word processor plugin where you need to enter citations in a specific format, okay? You need to write the citations in a specific format and then this RTF scan will go through your entire document and format this and match them to um, papers and, and, and create a reference list. Now, why didn't I start with this? Well, it's very simple. The problem with this is that you will have a bunch of uh, mismatched citation or ambiguous citations, right? So, you know, just think about how many papers you can have in your bibliography, which are SME 2009, right? So, um, so you'll, you'll have to do a lot of, uh, of manual matching uh, here, but it is definitely doable and definitely something that, um, uh, that uh, you, you can work with if you're using Zotero um, and you don't have a lot of ambiguous references, okay? Now, what if you want to use Zotero and you want to use the plugin, but you're writing in Scrivener? Well, that brings us to the second topic of today's video, which is your reference workflow, okay? Now, there are, if you think about it, there are basically two types of reference workflows. In one, you enter your citations as you are writing. In the other, you enter your citations after you have written. Okay? That's what I do. I don't enter my citations as I write. I enter my citations after I have written. There's a very practical reason for this, which is that, uh, as I've shown you in other videos, I use software such as Hemingway and ProWritingAid to proofread and improve the writing on my papers. And uh, if you have citations, this will uh, mess up all of the algorithms that look for readability in your text, because all of the algorithms are looking at word length and sentence length. If you have names of people, in a sentence, such as you have in a citation, that is going to increase 
word length and that is going to increase sentence length. So therefore, I don't use this. So I only add the references once my text is completely final, okay? Now, what does that mean? That means that, that you can just write your text in Scrivener, clean it up with Hemingway, clean it up with ProWriting Aid or whatever you do, and only then add the references. And because you're done, you don't need Scrivener anymore, you're done with your project, then you can just simply copy paste your, or your, your article, your paper to Word or your book to Word and then add the references in Word, okay? So that makes sense for my own workflow where I add the references at the end, okay? Um, if you are adding the references uh, as you go along, then, you know, obviously uh, this doesn't work so well. If you are still committed to using a plugin, you know, if you're still committed to using a plugin that you say, no, I want to be able to reformat the citations and references in my paper as much as I want, it is doable. So what you do is you insert your citations in Scrivener, okay? And then you open your file in Word and you uh, replace the citations that you wrote with um, the citations from the plugin in Zotero, okay? Again, you only have to do that if you have enough ambiguous citations that using this notation and RTF scan for Zotero does not work, okay? Got it? Good. So that's the video for today. Uh, TLDR, uh, Scrivener is not the software that integrates most elegantly with Zotero and Mendeley because these applications rely on plugins. There are workarounds such as the one that I explained, RTF scan here. All of the links will be in the description of the video for those watching on YouTube. Um, but, you know, definitely doable. Uh, hopefully this is all also prompted you to think about uh, when are you adding references to your paper? Should you add them as you go along or should you wait uh, until the end? The practical impact of this decision is significant if you are careful about how you write your paper. If you um, use Hemingway or writing aid to make s sentence length and complexity silky smooth, then you want the citations of, at the end. If not, then you want the citations as you write. Hopefully this was helpful. This was an idea from uh, one of the viewers of the channel who posted a comment in my last video. If there's any questions or something that you want to see, please let me know and I'll happy to do a video for you as well. Have a great time and good luck with your, all your writing. Bye everybody.